My name is Jeremy. Welcome to Charleston Fashion Week. Uh, please tell us uh, your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Christy Trainer. I am Chirish, uh, as in I'm Chinese and Irish. Surprisingly enough, I'm from uh, the upstate of South Carolina, also known as the armpit of the South, uh, Spartanburg. And so what have you modeled tonight? Have you, have you modeled this? Um, I've modeled this um, casually voguing out um, in the park. This is a Calvin Klein jumpsuit uh, that was procured from TJ Maxx for about $30. So I'm a Max Anissa, I guess you could say. Um, but tonight I, I actually walked for Trey Carmen Boutique uh, for my girl Michelle, who is awesome and her um, her clothing is awesome in her store as well. You guys should check it out. Now, what do you think about Charleston fashion in general? How people dress here in the city? Um, I would say that there is a general um, fear regarding anything edgy in the town. Um, I mean, it's a very charming, quaint look, um, which no, no, nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think when you step outside of the box, um, there's sort of a, a, a close circle in the town that appreciates that sort of thing and, and gets it. All right, great. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. All right, uh, I'm Jeremy. It's nice to meet you. Uh, please tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Archie Burkell, and I am from Charleston. You're from Charleston. Awesome. And what brings you to Charleston Fashion Week? I love fashion. I feel I'm fashionable. And I've been coming since the day it started. Nine since the day it started, nine years you've been coming here. And what's changed since then? <laughs> the price of the tickets. <laughs> In, in fact, the very first one, they weren't sure anyone was going to come, and they were giving away tickets. So it's come a long way, baby. Um, what have you seen tonight that's made you really excited? Well, I think just the fact that the designing, uh, emerging designers, uh, it, it's now the whole East Coast. I mean, it started really very locally, and yet we had a lot of talent locally. So to realize what an impact it's made um, on the, the Southeast, um, and again, it was it was just more of a local production, but it was, it was so professional right from the start, right out of the starting gates. Okay. Great. Well, thank you very much for coming out. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for asking me. All right. All right, my name is Jeremy. Uh, welcome to Charleston Fashion Week. If you could just tell us your name and uh, where you're from. Uh, I'm Ariel from Charleston, South Carolina. Roger from Charleston. Both from Charleston, great, me too. Um, and tell us what brings you to Charleston Fashion Week. Well, we would never been before and I suppose it come like two weeks ago, like two years ago actually. So yeah, we're here now. Yeah, we've never been before so we just wanted to try it out and got the tickets and it's actually going good so far. So. All right, next question. What, growing up, what fashion thing do you look back on and feel embarrassed about that you wore or that you were part of? Oh, my God. <laughs> any, Jabos. any, Jabos, <laughs> not, any jumper, like, yeah. jumper, just any jumper. Like, I just can't. Any jumper, just any jumper. What about you? I would say the same thing, like Jabo jeans or jumper wise, like, <laughs> and if it's just a black and black and red, basically, because yeah. black and red. Oh, I wore Jinkos growing up. You know, you guys know what Jinkos are? <laughs> you wear Jinkos? You look like a Jinkos guy. Yeah, big, big barrel, barrel pants. You know. I'm afraid to like mix colors and mix fashion with like. Just do it and see how it and flow with it and see how it goes with it. All right, great. Thank you guys for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yep. Bye.